Hey guys, how's it going? So um, today I want to go over how to download and how to find ebooks in Chinese for free and how to download them. So what I want to go over first is if you've got the English name of something, like say I'm going to use this one, Lord of the Flies as an example, you've got the English name, how do you find the Chinese name of it? First of all, because that can be uh, tricky. And then once you've found the Chinese name, um, how to get an ebook for free, how to download it, how to convert it to PDF and Kindle format. So I think the first way and the easiest way that what I used to do before is basically if your phone is in your target language, so if your phone's in Chinese and you type the English name into Google or Safari or whatever the um, app you use, then it comes up in the results and you can see what the Chinese name is. So you type the English in and it comes up. If your phone's in, set into Chinese, um, then it should come up with a search result in with a name in Chinese, with a Wikipedia page or something, if it has one. Um, second way you can do that, if you don't, if that's not working for you, is simply so. If you copy the, and this is depending on how many books your author has, can be quite difficult to find. But I use this website here, books.com.taiwan. So you can copy the name of the author in here, search the author's name. And then you can come down here, click on books, Chinese books, and it comes up with a list here. So, you know, Lord of the Flies is this first one here. Um, and, you know, sometimes this is not in, um, sometimes this is ebook format, sometimes it doesn't. I tend to prefer ebooks because you can look stuff up easier. So if I just copy the name over to Google and then type in um, ebook here, it comes up with some results. and this is the website that I wanted to show you about today, um, so howdo.net On this website you can basically download books for free um, and to convert it to PDF and Kindle format you're going to need a third party software called Calibre and I'll leave a link to that in the description. So it's really simple, you literally just click um, this button here that says Shazai um, download and um, yes, click OK, and it downloads. I download the EPUB format here, and then and then I use Calibre to convert it to um, Kindle and PDF format. So I'll show you that now. But just quickly on the website, they've got a bunch of different categories here, and they've even got if you see this title here, Yao Sheng Shu, which is um, audiobooks. Um, so they've got a bunch of different titles here, and it doesn't have every book so I was quite lucky to find the one that I wanted on here you know it has Harry Potter and stuff as well but if you just you know click on one of the different categories you can just see all of the different books they have down here and they have quite a lot so um, it's worth a browse here and all of them are the same way all, all of them are the same format the audiobooks here is not quite as many but you know there's still some that's something you're interested in so yeah, so let's open up Calibre. So here I've got in my folder here from the books, Lord of the Flies, I've got the EPUB format saved here. So what you want to do is you want to click Add Books in the left side here. And then you want to add the EPUB book here. And then here you can see it's been added here. And under the formats on the right side here, you can see EPUB. So we want to change that. And um, I normally change this to either a PDF, you can also change it to Word and also Kindle format as well. So you click convert books, you can, um, I click convert individually if you want to do it in a big, if you want to do loads at the same time you can do a bulk convert and just click this here. So I'm going to select um, Lord of the Flies here and click convert individually. And then it's really simple, I'll put format PDF and then click OK. And if you click on the jobs in the bottom left here, you can see the percentage done here when it's rendering as a PDF. When it's done, you can see a new format's appeared on the right. You right click on that and you click save PDF format to disk. And then here's the file here, you click save and here it's copying the file over and Here's, this is the PDF. So one thing you may notice about the book now before we convert it to Kindle format, as you can see on the right here, there's no cover for the book. So 
what you can do in Calibre is you can edit the metadata, which basically means you can edit the title of the book, the author's series, so on, including the um, cover photo of the book. So I like to add a cover photo because it helps me realize it helps me recognize it when I'm um, browsing on my Kindle. So here I'm just going to save the um, cover photo here from How Do. Just right click and click on Save Images. Then under Calibre, you can literally just click Browse. And just add the book cover here, and then you can use uh, this format. And you can see the book cover on the right here. So to convert it to um, Kindle format, it's the same as before. You go and convert individually, and for the output format, you want to set MOBI file up here. Then um, under Page Setup, you want to make sure that the output device is matching your device. So mine's a Kindle Paperwhite, that's what I'm going to select here, and then you want to click OK. Then like before, you can see it's converting to MOBI file here, and when it's done, it's appearing on the right. So then you can right click on that, click Save Mobi to Format to Disk, and again, um, click Save here. So once the book here is in MOBI format, like you can see here, then you literally you can just copy and paste it over. Once your Kindle's plugged in, you go to your documents and just copy and paste it in the documents folder here. And that's how you transfer it to your Kindle. Also, in if you if you prefer this way, you also in Calibre you can click the send to device button as well. If I go to my Kindle, you can see it's now got Lord of the Flies on there. And the cool thing about this is um I'm going to jump in in a second and you can see so it's quite com compared to reading on something like an iPad or a computer it's much much nicer on your eyes and it's obviously going to be hard to tell looking at this through a screen but the nice thing is there's lots of options you can do you can get pinion um, placed above the character if you want and the cool thing about this if you don't know a word you can install either I think it comes with a default dictionary for Simplified Chinese, um, I've downloaded or paid for a traditional Chinese dictionary off Amazon and if you don't know a word you simply tap it with your finger or hover your mouse above it and you can get the opinion and the meaning like that. So it's, I think, it's a nice step between something like Link when it's incredibly easy and quick to jump on and look up every new word, whereas this is a little bit more effort to look at words but it's also nicer on your eyes for reading more long term and it's still relatively convenient so I think it's a nice in-between step between if you're looking to go into uh, paperback books so yeah that's the video how to download free books in free Chinese ebooks how to convert it to PDF and Kindle format so hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time peace